Hey, it's Michelle Bells. Um, I'm a top leader in network marketing, and I'm gonna show you how to use the Boards app to set up a resource for your team. I'm gonna go through this kind of fast, and I'm not gonna be able to show you every single thing that you can do because that could be quite time consuming, but I am gonna help you to get started. So if you're, if you're starting to grow a larger team in direct sales, and you're thinking, man, wouldn't it be so nice, number one, if I had all of my information in one place, and then also number two, if it made it so someone else could easily share it. So I'll give you an example. I don't work for um, Color Street, but if I did and I had a new person that joined my team, wouldn't it be awesome if I could not only point them in the direction of a folder that had all the pictures and graphics to use for their business, but it was already preloaded to their phone. So they didn't even have to take the time to copy, paste, save, um, find it, search for it, all that good stuff. Um, same thing for a consultant training. Like let's say I'm in LuLaRoe and there are certain things that help people be successful in LuLaRoe. Wouldn't it be awesome if these videos were preloaded into an app and they can just watch everything right from their phone instead of having, so everything is in one place. There's not this website for that and YouTube for this and Facebook for that and this another Facebook group and 20 of these. Nope, everything in one place. So that's the amazing thing about the Boards app and I'm in love with it. So I'm gonna show it to you. So it's this little white app that says Boards in the middle and it's free and you can get it from the app store. So, Basically what there is, is there's different boards. Now the cool thing about these boards is you can share them with your team. So what I would suggest is making a board for your team and then making a board for yourself. So you can have your own shortcuts and things, you know, on your own. And then you have a board for kind of everybody. I've also separated one more board for leaders. So that way things that a new person getting started or even in the first few ranks don't really necessarily need, but upper level leadership um, would find that very useful. So I'm going to go through the basics of how to do this. So there, but there is, you know, they have a support. So how to use it, guides, all that kind of stuff is there to help. Um, okay. So basically you're just going to click new board. Now this new board, you can share it. The other really cool thing is that anything you update will automatically update with those that have access to this board. They don't need to re-download it or anything like that. Think of it kind of like a website. When a website updates, anyone that goes to the website sees the new updated version. So this is the same exact thing. Or um, a Google Drive works in a very similar way. When you add something to a Google Drive, those that have access to it still have access to the new stuff. So. Very similar way, I'm gonna just put team example <laughs> so you can see this, and it's blank. So boom, it's blank at first, all right? How to add people, you're just gonna click here and add their email. Um, there is an update coming that you'll be able to have a link that people can basically subscribe to it and then you don't have to enter it individually. And then basically you're gonna add keys. So you can add folders. Okay, so let's say, for example, we have a monthly monthly info. Let's say our company has a new special of the month or the kit changes for the month or they do a reward and that might change for the month. So you could do monthly info, okay? Let's say maybe a folder that would be great to have would be images, okay? So it could be all images. And then it, within this folder, you can create another folder, okay? So you could do a folder where it says, you know, product images, or I'll just put products, okay? Maybe products, um, maybe another image uh, Image would be, um, trying to think what might be something that, I, <laughs> business opportunity, okay? So maybe you have some business opportunity images, okay? So that just gives kind of an example. Um, as far as uploading it, you're just gonna click here, okay? And you can upload an image, you can add a link, you can add a video, you can add text or another folder. Now here's a really cool thing. So video image, we just said, I'm just gonna add some random images that have nothing to do with a company so that way we just <laughs> get some funny stuff in here, okay? So that's how you're gonna add the images when people click on it. 
You can add a title to give a little bit more description. This is a cool product, okay? Boom, and it'll show up there. People can then choose to share this directly to Facebook in a couple different ways. They can do it right from the app like that, and that in picture is gonna show up, okay? Or they can do it through keyboards, which I'll show you in just a second or just a minute. So basically you can add images. Now you can also add videos. And the cool thing about videos is they will play directly in the app. So I'm gonna show you share, copy link. Okay, so I'm just grabbing a random video. I'm gonna click video, paste YouTube link. So right now it only works with YouTube. In the future, it might work with Vimeo or Facebook. Right now it's just YouTube, but check this out. This is so cool, you guys. So if I am, let's say this is a training video or whatever, how to use the products, something like that, or how to use this folder, whatever you wanna do, it will play right in the app. Hey, so I wanna show you how, okay, super cool, you guys. All right, so think of how you could use this so team example, monthly info images. What about um, brand new consultant or whatever you know you call the new person? Brand new consultant. What if you put steps on how to get started? And what if you had your short videos on how to use your website, how to access you know commissions, things like that, completely within this folder? So. That's kind of what I would suggest is adding things, you know, basically maybe folder one would be step one, your first day. Oh, I can't type your first day. Boom. Maybe. And then on here in this folder, then you can put the steps for getting started with your company. What do you want your new person to do their very first day? Maybe the next one would be, you know, step two, your second day, or step two, your first week, or your launch party, or, you know, again, whatever you feel like is important for um, getting your person started. Okay, boom. And the nice thing is on this launch event, you could include all the pictures and images that somebody would use for that type of event. So again, if you are with, let's say Rodan and Fields, you could already preload this with all of the skincare photos that you're gonna have in here and your new presenter or new consultant or new distributor, whatever you verbiage is for your company would have access to this right away to be able to post immediately, okay? Like they don't have to go to a Facebook group and then spend 30 minutes trying to save the photos to somewhere on their phone it's all inside the app. And then once again, I would include a video of, hey, welcome to the team. We're so excited that you're here. It eliminates, it really eliminates the idea of having to have training on a Facebook group or training on a team website. And it's all inclusive in this app. And it feels very professional because, hey, will you join our team, join our company? All you have to do is download this app there's a folder called new consultant and it's going to have step by step. And of course you're, you're mentoring them through that process, but it's all right here. Monthly info. I would add the special of the month, any incentives that your company is doing, any incentives that your team is doing. You could also do a team calendar. So I'm just going to add, so you can see what these look like. This text can be really long. Hi, here, you know, here's the events we're doing this month, whatever, blah, 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 blah. And then you can add a title, team events, and you can just list them out. And people can click on it and they'll be able to see everything that you put in here. But the other cool thing, I'm gonna go back to this brand new consultant launch event. You can actually, actually, let me go back. One thing that we have done for our team is 30 days, oops, 30 days of posts. So what do you want your new person to be posting on social media, whether that's a group, their wall, whatever. So you can actually add those in here. You guys, I'm so excited about this new thing I just started. Stay tuned because 
This is going to be big. Right? Curiosity post. And you could do a few different ones, you know, whatever. So your new consultant basically comes here and she already has the verbiage in here, right? Isn't that one of the hardest things for somebody that's new to kind of figure out is what do I say? How do I say it? Okay. So you can add 30 days of posts. You can also include, you know, the images. Again, I'm just picking some random stuff, but you can do the images that you want her to post. Right now it's going to be all like random furniture because I went furniture shopping. <laughs> I took pictures of a bunch of stuff. So maybe she's selling furniture. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this new stuff. Hey, what do you think about this? So you can put anything that you want your new person to be posting in here. So again, you're their launch event. You're going to fill it with basically the template on how to get started. Okay, the other cool thing that you can do, you guys, is instructions like product education. So how to use your products. So that's another thing that we've added is product education. And you could upload this, or excuse me, fill this with videos on how to use their products. Maybe it's just the products that come in the kit. Maybe, um, again, I'm not with Color Street, but maybe for Color Street, it's how do you apply the nail um, stickers. I think that's what they're called. Sorry if that's not. Um, maybe it's how to do a return or maybe it's how to use the skincare, you know, whatever it is for your company. Um, how to, how to use the shakes, how to get started with the beach body DVDs. Okay. Whatever. Um, you can add that all in there. Okay. Um, a couple other things that I've personally added. So see, we got monthly info images, brand new consultant. Um, you can have, you know, party, outlines or party scripts. If your company does parties, I can't spell and type at the same time. Okay, whatever, done. <laughs> um, and ours we have like 90 days of different posts for different products. Um, what else do we have? Business opportunity, verbiage to send out, all that kind of stuff. So Again, fill this with the things that you're, you feel like would be helpful for someone else to already have that doesn't have to figure out the verbiage and how to do everything. Now, let me show you how to use it through the keyboard. I'm just going to do it in my um, messenger, okay, because that's just easy, but you can do this through Facebook. So this can be them posting on a group or it can be them sending messages. So I'm just going to go to boards. So I just changed the keyboard to the boards keyboard. It's really simple on an iPhone, on, a, on an Android, there's just a little extra step to get this to show up, but it's pretty easy. And then um, let's go to that example, okay? So for example, um, let's say I am, I want someone to, sorry, I wanna find the verbiage I did. Your first day, no, 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 30 days of post, okay. So she's posting on her wall, you say, hey, all you have to do is go to that 30 days of posts, and I just, every day I want you to pick verbiage and a photo. All you do is click on it, you guys. Like, look at that. There's no copying and pasting for the text. You literally just click on it, send. So imagine if you gave your new person, now obviously we don't want to be spammy or anything like that, so there's a little bit of training involved in here, right? So you're not just doing a copy and paste, because I know some of you are looking at this going, I teach my team not to just copy and paste. I get it, but it's good to have some place to start from, okay? Um, it's good to have some place to start from, so you can say personalize it. You know, hey, Susie, so glad to see you. Then they put it in, okay? Something like that, all right? For the images, copy, paste, send. That's how easy this is to use. It is so easy. And I just thought of a couple other things that I would do. Um, another thing that we've added is customer follow-up. So this can totally be copy and paste. Why not? When somebody purchases a product, okay, what do you say? Hey, thanks so much for your purchase. Here's a video that shows you how to apply it or how to use it or ways to install it or if it's like 31 bag, here's some ideas on how to use your new bag. Um, this can be the same for everybody, really. It really can. Here's a video, and the video can be wherever you want to put it. Vimeo, Facebook, YouTube, whatever works for you and your company. Use your new product. Don't you think that your team will be more likely 
to actually do the follow-up when the process is really simple here. Okay, really simple. Now, one extra thing that I've added, I, I kind of go a little slightly overboard, but I do think this is helpful. So I've just used the over app. You could use Canva. It doesn't really matter. Okay, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go to my projects. I have a bunch of stuff in here, but if you do a um, kind of a long, skinny, about this size, okay, these dimensions, and let's just add a new one so I can show you guys. You can add these images that give prompts or training to your team, okay? So, hi, welcome, um, the team. This folder is your first step in getting started. Or, you know, whatever. I'm doing this kind of fast, okay? Obviously, we don't have to be fancy, whatever. But um, the over app, I'm not going to go into how to use the over app or anything like that. But you can do a bunch of fun, cute stuff. Okay, you can make the backgrounds, whatever. We're just going to add a shape. So there's at least some color here. Da, da, da. I'm trying to make this as ugly as possible, apparently. <laughs> whatever. If you went to Mesa High in Arizona, there's your, team, there's your school colors, yellow and purple, jackrabbits. Okay, so let's say, you know, my brand new consultant, I want to have some instructions, right? Some how to use this. So I can add an image here. Welcome. Oh, doesn't that look so fun and inviting? This folder is your first step. Boom. So it, this could be anything, okay? This could be anything. Um, but I, on mine, and I'll show you, um, let's see if I can give another example. Okay, so like this, you know, this is something that every company has their own verbiage, right, that they use, okay? So how to do, you know, how do you do your stuff, okay? So I've made a little images so they don't have to click on the individual text thing to actually get the information across, okay? Super easy. Now, this is not really like cohesive because I'm just showing you some examples. This is not exactly how I would do it, but PRS, you know, I'd probably put this in a little folder that says how you get paid, okay? Something like that, um, which is another thing I would include in a brand new consultant. How did you, how do you get paid? And a video that shows them how to access their money. You know, just a, just simple stuff like that that new people need to know. And you find yourself telling the same people, especially if you're really growing a team, you find yourself saying these things over and over again, right? Because you're, you're helping new people get started all the time. So wouldn't it be nice if you have that information all here? Um, the other thing I would add is events. Okay. Do you ever get questions? When's convention? When's the national convention? Okay. Um, when's our next team meeting? Do we have a team call? Um, do you want more people to get on your stuff? Okay. You can add basically like the events and you can even link to it. So if your company on the website has a page about convention, you can link it here. Of course, I, I get it. You probably have on your team website or company website, excuse me, information about your company events. Ours, my company does, but sometimes they're tricky to find, whatever. You can add them here. Team events. Again, your team events are going to be somewhere different. They're going to be on a Facebook group or maybe you email them out or maybe nobody knows what's going on in your team sometimes, right? You could just add everything here, okay? So when somebody asks you, hey, where's the team events? You can say, boom. Um, one question I've been getting a lot lately is taxes. You could literally add a folder for taxes. And you could add text. How, how to see taxes... Um, on your site. And then you could write the information here. You do it one time. And then the next time I get a message that says, hey, I'm, I'm not sure how to access my 1099 or how does it work with taxes? I can literally go, oh my gosh, you got, so it's so simple. So on the boards app, there's actually a folder called taxes. And I actually explain exactly where to find the information, how to get to it, versus me taking five minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes for each person to walk them through it. Um, how did you return? So all this information you can put on your board. And look how cute it is. And you can change, um, you can change the icons, okay, to whatever you want. 
So like all you have to do is click on it and you know, I like not not that I would spend a ton of time doing that, but you can do a fun little thing that kind of has to do with that or whatever. Um, you can't change the colors of the buttons. That's not something that you can do right now. However, I'm going to show you a few more things. So what if you set it up and you start using it and you go, oh, I really wish this folder was somewhere else. That doesn't really make sense. I should have changed it. You can move things around, you guys. So all you have to do is click on these three buttons up here, select keys, click on it. You can move it. So you can copy it and let's say I want it right there. Or you can also do the same thing, select keys, and you can move it to somewhere else, okay? And then it will take it from here, you know, and move it to a different place. So now it's not there anymore. So it's really simple to move things around. Now, what if you wanna collaborate with leaders on your team? What if you're thinking, oh my gosh, Michelle, this is amazing, but holy cow, this is gonna take me forever to do by myself. <laughs> and I've got like six leaders on my team. So we could, you know, diversify and delegate. What I would suggest now in the future, you'll be able to have admins of a board. Right now, that's not the case. So if you are so excited about this and you want to start doing it right away, which that's how I was, <laughs> I, like literally learned about it. And that afternoon, I'd already set up a bunch of stuff. So if you're like that, uh, what I would actually do is ha divide it up. So you and your six leaders, you each take something like one person does your new consultant, one person does images, one person does follow up with customers, one person is going to do events. So you each basically take a folder or however you want to divide that up. One person does party outlines. And probably if you've been established in your business, you already have this information somewhere. It's, it's somewhere you've been using tech shortcuts, notes on your phone, a Facebook group. All this information is probably already somewhere. You just need to cons consolidate and put it into one place. So each leader creates their own board. And they can just call it their name, whatever. But you, if you're the team leader, you create a board that's for the entire team. And what they can do is each leader can add you to their board and you can copy things from their board and, and move it, or excuse me, paste it to the main team board or the motherboard, whatever you want to call that. So you can still kind of delegate until that admin option is available. They're working on it. I don't know when that will be coming. But in the meantime, like I said, what I would do is just each leader create a board. You, the team leader, create the team board and then have your leaders add you to their board so you can move the things that they've created or copy them and paste them here. So you guys can all be working on this together and just you know nail it out and get it done in like a week or whatever. So I'm trying to think if there's any other major things that are helpful to know um, soon. So some things that are coming, the ability to click on a link. So let's say um, I'm just going to do my website because I don't want to point it to a company. So, but let's say like this is your company website or your team website or your team Facebook group and you want to have that there. Okay. So team site. Boom. So in the future, you will be able to click on this and it will take, like it'll open up your web browser and take you there, which is pretty dang awesome. Right now that feature isn't there, but you can copy it and then go to you know Safari and open it up. Um, I wonder if you also, oops, oh, that's not there. Yeah. So right now there is also this little option up here, um, which I'm wondering if that will open up in Safari. I actually don't know. I'm just trying it out, which I'm assuming it is not because you've got Messenger, Drive, Gmail, Safari. Yeah, I don't see the option here to open it. And I'm not going to try to mess with stuff. So for right now, just copy, paste. Okay, copy, paste. Open up your, you know, browser. Boom, opens up. So again, that will be coming. It's just not here yet, but that's super cool. But the one thing that they just added that is really cool is the ability to play those videos literally right in the app. So not only is this app training, but it's also storage for the media and files that you use. Um, one of the things that we've done, I'm sorry, I'm kind of 
bouncing around. I, I don't want to forget things, but I'm, then I think of something that I haven't said yet. One of the things we did for um, customer follow-up is we've been adding videos that anyone on our team can use on how to use the products. Um, your company might actually already have you know, a database like that. Um, so that way when someone purchases a specific product, when they follow up with them, there's a video of how to use it that a new person doesn't have to recreate, doesn't have to make, doesn't have to take the time to figure all that stuff out. It's just already done. So wanted to share this amazing, amazing tool for your business. It's very new. You may have heard of it, but maybe not sure what it is or how to use it. So I hope this kind of walked you through getting it set up. If you do have any questions, please feel free to comment. Um, you can also go to my website, michellebell.com and con michellebellcreative.com and contact me that way. Or you can find me on Facebook, Michelle Bell. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions on how to use it. It's really simple. I think it's going to change how you communicate with your team, change how your team is able to find things and just simplify so much in your business.